I saw one word, one word, it just have to be community. Exciting. Fun. I would have to choose the word unforgettable. Diverse. Tight-knit. Family. Lovely. Endearing. I think one word that describes ASL is togetherness. As I've said before, I've been here for 14 years, so I've encountered countless people um, and learned many things through their, through their different cultures and different uh, people that I've been around. I think AISL really helped make that experience as bearable as possible. I, I just really like the general infrastructure behind that program, and I feel like it, it helped it to make the experience the least awful as it could have been. AIS has helped me build a much better work ethic than I had before I came here. AIS has also helped me develop socially. I found a really close group of friends that I'm like very good friends with and just the community itself it's so supporting and that's something that's really great about the school. Well I mean I've been here since pre-k so all of my learning have been um, at this school. I've made my first friends here. I learned like how to count here and how to spell here everything so it's been very like important to my to my like growing as a student and as like somebody who's really interested in academia so yeah the diversity of the student body over here is really exciting since it's an international school it's a given but that was coming from uh, India and that's the only country I've ever lived in so diversity was really exciting for me to me the most exciting thing about AIS is the community since it's a small school everybody knows each other and it's really easy to make friends and there are no strangers here in middle school every time I'd break we used to like play against the the grade above us and it's like one of the biggest matches we used to have uh, during the break time so we always used to look forward to that I went to waste basketball with some of my friends and that was a, a really exciting and fun experience for me. I think the one thing that I really do enjoy about AISL is just the community and all of the different people I've had the opportunity to meet. You cannot find a community like AIS anywhere else. I think the academic part of AISL is uh, particularly strong, but it's not uh, super hard that it makes you uh, not be able to socialize with the people around you. I think that AIS, because it's a school, is far more academically focused than it is socially focused. However, the community that it was able to garner is actually very, very supporting, very, very social, so to speak. So it balances itself out, just not within the school. The academic and social balance in this school is perfect. You will always find time to study and play. It's the best part of being at AIS. Compared to other schools, I think the academic and social balance is a lot better at AIS because there's not a heavy focus on academics like there is at other schools. We also have a really heavy focus on uh, social life and community bonding. So yeah, 100% we try to keep a, a healthy balance in place and uh, not to over, overload our students uh, at any point. Shout out to all my homies from the past couple of years, my group of friends. They know who they are and they've definitely helped me go through the lowest points to the highest in my life. I've had a lot of friends who've come up with me from preschool all the way till now. So I feel like that those are the main important ones, but I've also met people along the way even in recent times, like for example, Mr. Schultz, who's the new econ teacher. I'll really miss him. And uh, Mr. Rodin as well, who's been an influential part in my high school graduation. He may not know it, but he has really helped me. And then to my friends, right, Omar, Kabir, Sahil, Nauman, um, Abi, then the, the girls like Shopa, Chloe, Marina, Mahak, Seraphine, Lou. Like I'll really miss all of them. All the teachers, the security guards, the custodians, obviously Mr. Action, our our lifeguard here, so many people here that truly do mean a lot to me and I do want to give them a big shout out. I just want to thank all my teachers, all of them have been really supportive and all my friends. Also just the grade as a whole, like I love all my friends here but even the people I'm not as close to, everybody's been really sweet and caring and I feel like I can talk to anybody in the grade and I think it's just a really good environment so thank you for being there. 
I had some really close bonds here that I don't know if I'll be able to get as close to people um, over the next few years. Um, and I wish to hold on to those bonds uh, forever if I can. I'd like to give a shout out to my teachers, my friends who really uh, added to my uh, valuable and remarkable experience at AISL. I formed bonds that will be cherished for a lifetime. It's definitely happening. Like, I really can't believe it, to be honest. I remember, like, coming to this school, I would always be around this area, this specific area. Um, and I can't believe that now, like, I'm sitting here doing, like, my senior interview and I'm graduating. Like, it's definitely very special to have gone to this same school and now I'm, like, finally finishing. I remember joining the school in, the, in seventh grade and thinking, oh my god, I would never graduate from this school. It just felt like a lifetime away. But now here I am, standing in the senior lounge. Sometimes I look back and I wonder how have I made it this far. I mean, it just feels like yesterday when I was like, you know, a sixth grader just walking into campus. You know, I remember crying on my first day here. And it's, it's a bit of a surreal feeling. I feel like I haven't processed it yet. But I'm really excited about the next chapter of my life. I'm excited to leave, but at the same time, I'm kind of nervous. I've been here for so long. This is really most of what I can remember. Of, of my school career in general, so it's exciting but pretty nerve-wracking. You know, when I was a little kid on the playground, um, when I was, you know, like in what, first or second grade, graduation was just not something that I was thinking of, but um, I'm really happy that I've made it this far. I think that we should all be proud of ourselves for making it this far. Uh, I feel scared because uh, school is always, always a very safe environment, a very warm environment, but now we're stepping out into the real world and that too alone as individuals without the support of our parents. And uh, that it's pretty scary, but it's also exciting because it's a fresh new beginning and we're going to get a lot of opportunities to learn about a lot of things. But also graduating, it, it's not only an ending to high school, it's the beginning of the rest of my life essentially. So I feel like there's a lot of fear, but also I'm just excited. I'm excited to get out into the world and I'm excited to finally sort of carve out my own identity more than just what I've become during high school. I think the biggest mantra or advice I've gotten from ASL is never forget who you are and never change it for anyone. You can try as hard as you can, but at the end of the day, you can only do so much. So there's no point stressing over things that you can't control. Just always keep that in mind and keep that hope alive because there will be times where you feel like you're at your lowest and there's no way out and you feel like you're trapped. But no, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and it gets better. The universe kind of like make sure that you're going to end up on your feet. Even if uh, stuff turns out the way you don't expect to, it still works out for the best. And so just chill out. It'll be fine. <laughs> no matter how many exams you have, tests you have, always remain calm and try to plan it out beforehand. Don't wait to do something. Try and do it as soon as possible. Don't procrastinate. I think the thing that has gotten me furthest in the school is the mindset that even though right now I may not be like the most excited to do what I'm doing right now. In the future, I'm going to look back very fondly, so I might as well just have as much fun as possible while I still can here. So while I'm here, since I'm a third uh, culture kid, uh, one mantra that I've held on to is to be more collaborative and to be open, uh, not to close yourself uh, by your own opinion and to be accepting of others and their opinions. The one thing I've really held on to is just to be persistent in the sense that make sure you first do your work and then you can enjoy yourself. Because if you enjoy yourself first, it's really hard to compensate for the work. So I would say work and then enjoy yourself. Eventually, you know, time passes and, and everything closes and it all works out in the end. So I think that's, that's been something I've kept very close to me. I'd probably say the mantra that's kept me going through AIS is like being true to yourself. Because if you're not true to yourself, you won't know what your real interests are. And that's the only way to kind of progress in life, is to being true to yourself and being honest.